Hey guys, tutorial videos here. Today I'm going to show you how you can have two wireless routers going at the same time but only costing you the price of one. Okay, so here's my wireless router. It says Netgear here, as you can see. And it's currently active. It's got a wire going in the back here. So we'll just take a look at the back for now. Notice how... Let me just take this blue one out. Notice how this is the odd one out here because you notice it's yellow and all the others are black this is the power cable so you want to plug the the internet that's coming out of the wall into the odd one out so the odd one out is now yellow so I'm going to plug it into the yellow one and then there's my internet so I need for this I will need a second router so there's my second router um, you will notice this is the same, well, more or less the same. I tell them apart because one says Netgear here and one says Sky here. So you want to plug your second one in. Plug. One minute, I'm just going to plug it in. There we go. Right, so And then once that's plugged in, you will notice it does come on. And if you wait a minute, so this is my new one. I'm just gonna that I've just plugged in, and you will need the power and the wireless on. No other light should be on. However, on your old one, you should have the eye lit up here, the eye, and that should be flashing. Okay. So you want to go to your old one. With the, the one with the eye on that's flashing and the any of these black ones here you want to plug an ethernet cable into into that i'm just going to plug it in the end one right here. but you can plug into any of them so remember this is the internet that's coming out of the wall and this is the one i've just plugged in so the other end of that ethernet you want to plug into your new one which doesn't have the eye on the top. So, um, but this one, it has all lime yellow, and this one is is grey. So you want to plug it into the odd one out, remember? So I'm going to plug it into the grey one. So once that's plugged into the grey one, um, your eye should light up in a few minutes. Um, and then you should, when you turn your computer on, you should be able to connect to one called Netgear and one called Sky. And they're both running off your internet, they're both yours. It hasn't cost you any more to run a second one, it's just cost you the price of this. It doesn't cost you any more on your bill monthly. However, if your your ethernet cable coming out of your old one does not fit into the odd one out of your new one, remember it's got to be in the odd one out here, which is the silver one, if it doesn't fit, then you're going to need um, you're going to need either you can buy a new the new router that you've just bought you'll have to buy a new one that does fit that or you can buy a new cable which is cheaper and it, it goes one side's an ethernet port and one side is a telephone port which is like this and the telephone ports fit inside the odd one out of your router here but if if your if the end of your Ethernet coming out of your old one does go into your odd one out on your new one, then you don't have to listen to this part. But if it does, if it doesn't, then you will need a a Ethernet to telephone line. Ethernet to telephone line. Because and you want to plug your Ethernet in one of them common ones here. Not the odd one out, the common ones on the old one. And on the new one you want to plug your telephone line in into the odd one out on your new one and that should still give the same effect and you should still have two running side by side both operating and your computer can connect to any of them so say if the one on your left was to go down for a few days temporarily then you could use the one on your right and you'd have no problems with that and it would you can just vary between the two when you want and you'll always have internet. Well, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. I hope you understand everything. Um, please subscribe to my channel.